Hey guys, it's Will. So if you would have bought Bitcoin five years ago, then you would have 94% of an easier time purchasing a home today because your buying power would have gone up by 94% in the housing market. So in other words, if you are trying to grow using any asset, one of the best ones to buy is going to be Bitcoin. You can have the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, who basically determines the direction of the economy in a way, um, recently announced that he sees Bitcoin as a store of value and it's like the digital gold. Now, right after that happened, we saw Bitcoin surge to 103,000. I'm looking at GBTC right now. And what I was wondering is how can we, you know, anticipate these moves and trade with AI? You guys know on the channel, if you, if you do know, uh, maybe you don't, we have these AI companies that we trade. Um, and I'm always sharing with you guys what those are doing. We just pointed out Big Bear AI, for example, at $2 a share. Last week, six days ago, we saw this breakout and I ended up buying. I don't know if I could find my recent order. That'd be kind of cool. Um, BBAI. And I ended up buying at $2.95 and selling at, what, $3.33 and making $350. Bucks. And then... I mean, over here, if we just take a look at what this looks like on our Schwab, we are up 21%. So people say the S&P 500 is the best place to invest in all these things. Look, I, I get that, you know, that's been the history. But if you look at the S&P 500 or inflation, you know, it's like almost uh, laughable, the returns. It's like, great, looks amazing. Look at the charts. But compared to that of like crypto in the five, past five years. And so anyway. I wanted to know how we could trade Bitcoin using AI and how good it would be. And as you guys know, I mean, ChatGPT just recently announced they have a $200 per month um, uh, plan for using ChatGPT because it's getting that good. And so you might say, whoa, how good is it? Well, it's surpassing the, it's already surpassed the average human IQ, but we're talking about, um, real-time data they were able to feed in. So I want to show you guys this project I'm working on that allows for you, it will allow for you to be able to trade any asset, stocks, crypto, gold, silver, whatever it is that you could trade online with real-time AI analysis that will give you forecast and not only forecasts with the real-time, but it will also give you relevant resources based on your time horizon for investing in the asset. So let me show you kind of the idea here. And if you guys are developers, uh, maybe you're a computer scientist or something like that, and you like to code, definitely uh, send me an email or comment down below. I'd love to you know, work with you because uh, I'm great at coming up with ideas. <laughs> but when it comes to the coding side, I need some work, guys. I need some work. So um, you know, I study a little bit here and there, and I've worked on uh, different projects. And we've had, you guys might know if you've been following a while, we've done some AI softwares where I've done some coding, but like, I'm not a pro at, at, at coding at all in, in any way. So uh, what you could see here is that I said, hey, my idea was, what if you could get a time frame that was specialized for the analysis of AI? specialize so much that you get a forecast and real-time outlook. And so I tested it. And so far with my one test, it has been great. It's actually been accurate for my one test. I'm gonna do back testing. I'm gonna test it on the history chart so I could do long-term and really see the earnings that it makes. I know there's some AI bots that are doing like 50% plus win rate, which is profitable. That's awesome. And so I'd love to get there, but I also want it to be empowering for the individual to also do some, some uh, have the freedom to be able to do the work on your own and invest in things you understand. And so whether or not you like Bitcoin or you think it's bullish or you don't, let's take a look. It doesn't really matter. This can apply to any asset. Let's take a look at um, this here. Now, what I did is, I'm thinking about this uh, outlook and I'm saying, I wanna be able to switch between time frames 
And when I switch between time frames, I want AI to tell me in that time frame from now until the end of that time frame how much or little it would project that asset to increase or decrease with real time analysis of the entire market. So it would look something like this one hour Bitcoin AI analysis. The next hour, slight upward movement expected in the next hour. This is kind of like my mock up. And then we can see, you know, real time, what's the MACD look like? Real time, what's the RSI look like? And then maybe there'll be little things that are like, what is MACD? What is RSI? What do these numbers mean? Maybe you want to know. There's like a little icon or something like that. Okay. And this is something that's like between those increments from now until the end of that time frame, what's that volatility expected to look like in the short and near term? And so I basically asked ChatGPT, I said, give me projected increase or decrease in the percentage, one day, four hour, one day, five day. Give me a short sentence for each one, okay? And then give me relevant articles for each time frame and relevant to the time frame impact. If a Tesla car catches on fire or something, maybe that only impacts one day. So that's not really a relevant article for the five year outlook of Tesla. So I want those articles to be so forecasted based on impact that they can apply to each time frame. And so what I did is I did that. And this is what it said. I did this two days ago. As you can see, there's 14 prompts before this for me to like get this right. It said, I said, um, I need a real time analysis on Bitcoin chart. It said AI is project or uh, this is the AI projected percentage change in the one hour, half a percent in the four hour, um, less than 1% or 1% in the, the one day minus 2.5% in the five day plus 3%, 10 day, 5%, 15 day, 7%, 30 day, 10% and so on. Now, the funny thing is, is I went through it. And, and so I also have these for being able to plug into the software that I'm creating, right? Which I'm sharing with you guys. So if you're like, well, I'm passionate about it. I want to do this before you go make it, give me a call. <laughs> Talk to me. All right. And then you might notice these articles. You might say, oh, so there's just three articles for every time frame. What's the big deal? Well, all these articles are carefully crafted by the AI to relate to the time frame that you've chosen. So you can see like our uh, one has a different article than the one day. Okay. Or even the five day, it's a different article. And so Sometimes they'll be the same articles and that's okay because they might be both relevant, but that's something we're doing. And so I, I actually compared it to what was happening here and how it performed on Bitcoin. And it actually performed near perfectly. See, I did this about two days ago right around here when Bitcoin was, or I guess it was a day, uh, less than a day ago. It was about 18 hours ago. And so far it's been accurate. It was like right here I did it. And so far it's been accurate. It actually went down, if I can make this. All right, so from here, that's when I did it. It had gone down like a percent and and it had dropped, I guess, 5%. And I did it, I, th I think I did it somewhere right here. Somewhere right here I did it. Cause it was right when it was like dropping and I'm like, man, what's gonna happen next? And it had gone down like 3% or 2%. And then it had dipped again down to half a percent. And then it recovered 1%, 2%. And now it's recovered about 4%, okay? so. What did ChatGPT said? ChatGPT said on the on the um, one hour it's probably going to be down half percent. Four hour about one percent. One hour, one day it's going to be about uh, two point five negative two point five percent. And then on the five day it's going to be at three percent. So right now it's from when I did it it's up somewhere I think I did it right here it's about, it's up about three percent in one day. And it was saying the one day might be down 2.5%. So it hasn't been perfect yet. But I'm, I also could refresh this 
you know, that's the thing. If I refresh this and have it feeding the API and refreshing it all the time, you gotta wonder how much more accurate it'd be. Of course, then, you, you know, you, if you make decisions based on it, that could change. But hey, I'm trying to build this thing and I think it has a lot of potential because I think AI is only getting more and more efficient. And there'll be more data that I can plug into this other than just um, the real time that ChatGPT goes. Maybe I know there's a really great source for the price action or really great source for volume or things like that, that I can plug in and I can do notifications that AI is analyzing real time, that AI finds those buy and sell opportunities in the market. I think it's a really cool idea. That's why I'm doing it. It hasn't been perfect yet. I just started it. And let me know what you guys think about the whole idea as a whole. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you all. And if you want to watch me trade live uh, today, let me just take a look at what we're up. We're up 9 9.55%, 9.57% now uh, today on the portfolio. And we do it trading AI and tech companies. You see, we got some Rocket Lab, a little bit of MSTU. We bought the dip, uh, MARA, which is a Bitcoin mining. We got CXM and other things. We test a lot of stocks before jumping in. Right now, we're in some AI company, our bigger positions, a couple thousand dollars in these ones. Um, and I trade live at Market Open. If you guys want to see my trades, you want to see what it's like and maybe you're looking at cash and you're like, I should probably put this in some assets like crypto or AI or just put it to work and do it in a way that's going to be putting it in companies that are either carrying the S&P 500 or are growing from that small to mid cap to the larger cap as they are innovating as AI companies. And you're saying, I wanna know how to do that. Um, specifically for Robinhood is what we use around Robinhood legend. Okay. And so a lot of the lessons are mobile on the go. How do you invest from your phone mostly? Um, but we do analysis on the computer as well. And if you want to know how to learn how to trade those tech and AI stocks and build a, a portfolio that is more or less crash proof, right? You're investing in assets that, um, in, in the, over time are going to in, increase. So you have a lot of leeway to make sure you're in a valuable investment. This is one of the best times to get in. We have our um, stock mates down below. And um, if you if you it sounds like a lot of people are struggling to find the right AI stocks or they're struggling to get that guidance they need to to take action in the markets. And if that seems like something that you're struggling with, I would encourage you simply take a look at that second link down below at stock mates. Recently launched it, and I recently opened up our discount for the next few days. If you want to get in, there's like uh, uh, a cheaper weekly subscription, or if you want to do lifetime access to the live sessions, you can get that as well. Thank you guys again for watching. Of course, you know one of one of the best ways to grow for me has been uh, sharing these companies with you guys, and can't do it without you. I appreciate all the support, the likes, the subscribes. Thank you again. See you guys in the next video. Take care.